Hello my people, my name is Meacham. Welcome to the SCORE channel. I'm your Dean of Awesomeness, here to present you with the first ever Dean's List. Today we're ranking the top 10 party schools in the United States. Life is about more than just studying and learning things. It's about having fun. It's about meeting new people. It's about partying. And if you think I don't know what I'm talking about when it comes to partying, let me show you what I really know. Do some partying right now. That's what I'm talking about. Watch and learn, kids. Remember, this is not beer, okay? So it's perfectly fine. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, tell you shotgun and not beer. I decided to make my own official party score for this list, and I'm gonna show you how it works before we get into it. What are the ingredients for an awesome party school? Everybody knows that the best parties happen at frat houses and sororities. You've seen them in the movies, and in real life, they are just as amazing. And so I counted up the number of frats and sororities at all these universities by using GreekRank.com's latest data. That's our base. From there, I multiply that by the acceptance rate. Why the acceptance rate? Think about it. If you're a selective school that only admits like 10% of people, those are people that have been trying hard and like working on 20,000 different extracurricular activities and staying up late to study. Those aren't the people that are gonna party hard at the Rager. They ain't doing keg stands. Your location also matters. And so I've created a score for both the city and the state that you're in, which we will multiply to get our final numbers. The city score is pretty simple. If your university is located in a town that only exists because of the university, like Purdue, you get a one, all right? No penalties. And if you got over a million, you get a big fat four. And this makes sense because it's not just about partying on campus. It's also about the city that you're in. Are there bars to go to? Are there concert venues? Are there pro sports venues? Not everything happens on campus. The state score is comprised of two distinct variables, all right? because right, there's two things that are essential to a party that states have control over. Number one, I'm talking about that sweet nectar, the liquid courage, the stuff that makes questionable decisions happen, the fermented fruit juice, alcohol. In the United States, the average person drinks 2.35 gallons of pure alcohol every year. That's 10.7 liters for all of you people in not America. To illustrate that, I got 10.7 liters of water right here. That would be this much, plus this much, plus this little guy right here. If your state consumes more than the national average, that's a good sign for party scores. If you're like Utah and you only consume about half of the national average, that's gonna drop your score. The number of people admitted also matters. So I took the total number of undergraduate students, because let's face it, postgraduate people don't party, and divided that by a thousand to add to the score. We put all these variables together to get our party score. If you guys disagree with my methodology and you think you can do it better, or you have a problem with how I put these numbers together, then complain in the comments below, because I want to hear what you have to say. So let's get to it. FIU is a university that appeals specifically to international students. What do you get when you take thousands of international students from over 140 countries and pack them into the sweltering heat of Miami? You get a lot of sweaty partying. This university literally has its own EDM festival called Summerfest, which they host every year. And on top of that, they've got a Greek barbecue with their 35 different frats and sororities. That puts them in 10th place with a score of 95. Our number nine school was formerly number eight, according to Playboy Magazine, which is obviously a really good source of information for partying. Even though they have the fewest frats and sororities on our top 10 with just 34, they make up for it in other ways. With a really strong state score and an extremely high acceptance rate, Colorado State ranks number nine on this Dean's list. Even though it's a relatively small school compared to the others in this top 10, their bonus points from all the other categories put them at 98 points. Good enough for number nine on the list. Number eight on this list is a university that I was just talking about with somebody who commented on our pit video. I was asking if 
Syracuse is a better party school than Pittsburgh. And let me tell you something, people. Syracuse is a top 10 party school. The numbers don't lie. They got 46 frats and sorries. Syracuse is a cool city. It gives people plenty of things to do in a state that gives them plenty of substances to enjoy, if you know what I'm saying. And they host two major festivals. There's Mayfest, which for some reason, they always do in April. They got the annual Juice Jam, which kicks off the school year too. So you end the year and start the year with an awesome rager hosted by the university. The other big thing you gotta talk about with Syracuse is their love for sports. These guys take it really seriously and are known to get extremely rowdy when there's a football game. Princeton Review also used to rank party schools and this school used to be number one for three years in a row. On our list, it reaches number seven. This university breaks the record for fraternities and sororities. They have 81 Greek associations. Greece doesn't even have that many. They've got an alcoholic beverage in their name. The University of Illinois at Urbana Champagne. Pop the bubbly. These guys have a history of going hard and nothing will slow them down. Not even a global pandemic. Back in 2021, Delta was popping off and Delta showed up to all the frat house and was like, what's up bro? I'm Delta. Oh, what's up, Delta? We're Delta 2, Delta 5, Omicron, what's up, bro? Uh! Delta rolled up into the campus and people didn't even care. UIUC had a perfect plan for containment to keep cases down, but they forgot to calculate one thing, how much they loved to party. And within a couple of weeks, the plan failed completely. They had to shut down classes for like three weeks because cases just blew up because everybody was going to the frats and getting their party on. It's a testament to the party spirit at UIUC. Respect. All right, number six is kind of a controversial choice on this list. Here's a big university with lots of frats, high acceptance rate, but it's in a state that does not favor a lot of fun activities. In Pennsylvania, you gotta go to the state store to buy beer. It's like communist Russia in Pennsylvania, but with over 66,000 Nittany Lions, roar, there is a ton of party scene available at Penn State. Why don't they appear on everybody else's top 10 lists? Unfortunately, Penn State has partied a little too hard. Back in 2016, a student died during a fraternity hazing ritual. That's intense. On top of that, you've got some other scandals from the sports department in Penn State, and all those things together have pretty much made them the kind of university that nobody wants to touch with a 10-foot pole. But that's why my rankings are pure, baby. We're using numbers, not feeling. Numbers don't lie. Penn State is a party school. Number six on the list. Know your limits, kids. Number five is another public school that is known for tearing it up on campus and off. Despite being in the god-awful state of Ohio, or perhaps because it's in the goddamn state of Ohio, these people know how to party. They need to take their mind off of the bleak existence that is living in Ohio. I'm talking about Ohio State, located in Columbus. They got 72 frats and sororities in a relatively small city, but it's a city chock full of bars. That means you got a ton of house parties, you got a ton of bar hops, you got drinking everywhere around Ohio State. The party scene on campus is so bad that the university will actually help professors and staff to pay for local houses. Will literally help pay for your house just so that it doesn't become another student party house. One student that was interviewed in the area said that you have to wear earplugs if you wanna sleep. That's hardcore. They got a score of 128. That's a party school. All right, we're starting to get into the big dogs now. The top four party schools. It's gonna get intense. Even though this one is the most selective school out of all of our list, with an acceptance rate of about 51%, they make up for it with location, location, location. I'm talking about UMD, not the proprietary Sony PSP disc. I mean the University of Maryland. You can't get a better location. UMD is right between Washington DC and Baltimore, Maryland, which means you've got sports events, concerts, bars, everything you want, and you got two cities to choose from. That gives them a big city score of four. They got over 60 frats and lady frats, which means there's plenty of party opportunities. They even created their own on-campus Uber called Night Ride. Night Ride will just pick you up in the middle of the night wherever you are and take you back to your bed. I like that party support coming from UMD. It got so out of hand that in 2019, the City Council of College Park, Maryland passed an ordinance that tried to curtail the party scene. This ordinance changed the definition of nuisance and created a new category of nuisance called an unruly social gathering. I wanna read you a little bit of this law because I find it hilarious. It is unlawful for a property owner or any responsible person to conduct, cause, aid, allow, permit, or condone an unruly social gathering at a residence or other private property. Now look, I'm not a lawyer, 
But if you cause, aid, allow, permit, or condone an unruly social gathering, then you're not a responsible person. And so the law does not apply to you. Boom, party on UMD. People, it's getting hot, it's getting spicy. Top three, these schools make the other universities look like a seven-year-old's Chuck E. Cheese birthday party. Our number three university is MSU, Michigan State University. Michigan State has 68 fraternities and sororities. It also has a Wikipedia page dedicated to times that riots broke out at Michigan State. And with an enrollment of 35,000 and a very high acceptance rate of about 75%, you've got all the ingredients for an amazing party school. I grew up in the Michigan area, I know that that the reputation that Michigan State students get is that they were not smart enough to get into University of Michigan. And I don't know if that's entirely true, but I will say that their party reputation is well earned. There's this site called UniGo where they survey students and ask them different questions. And one of the questions was like, what's the typical perception of students at your school? I just wanna read a couple of the amazing responses from that site to you. Over my three years at Michigan State, I became increasingly intolerant of the overwhelming frat bro crush your beer can on your head atmosphere at Michigan State. Crush your beer can on your head? You don't say. Ah! I was able to find a great girlfriend and we're still going strong years later. Her parents also met at state. Parties have their positives. See, at MSU, you might just meet your soulmate at a party. Number two is gonna be another debatable entry on this list, but let me tell you, the numbers don't lie. It's like Maryland. It's a relatively selective school, not the biggest, but it's got an awesome location that makes it a party central for anyone who wants to find a good time. University of Washington in Seattle is in a prime location for the party scene. Everything's legal in Seattle. They love to get their drink on. They got over 60 breweries in the city alone. You've got all your sports venues and it's the birthplace of grunge music. So basically every concert comes to Seattle. They got festivals all year round. And perhaps because of the rainy, depressing weather, these people get their drink on any day of the week. UW does it a little different. Most places are like, okay, Thursday, maybe start off. Friday, definitely. Saturday for sure. Sunday, recover. But no, 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 no. Here at Washington, they start the party on Tuesday. Drinking on a Tuesday. I don't even do that most of the time. Washington's party score is way above everybody else, but it's nothing compared to our number one university on the Dean's List. Our number one party school in America is perhaps the most ripped on university of all time. They have been the butt of jokes for over 40 years. Whether it's Alec Baldwin. Parent is the one person who is supposed to make their kid think they can do anything. Thinks they're smart even when they go to Arizona State. Stephen Colbert. My own network of completely free diploma generators offering degrees from such prestigious institutions as Prancetown, Notre Dame, Mount Holy Smokes, Stanford and Son, Skidmark, John's Hot Pants, Dart Face, and Arizona State. Or Seth MacFarlane a million different times. Hey Sam, why do you have a duffel bag that says Arizona State? Because that's where I went to school. What, you went to Arizona State? Was your mascot a broken condom? Arizona State University has been the laughing stock of the United States for its perceived reputation as the biggest party school in America. But it's a well-deserved reputation, and again, my numbers add up. You go to GreekRank.com and just read the reviews of their frats and sororities, you'll see that they're all being brigaded by all of the other ones all the time. And these fraternities have some serious track records of causing trouble, everything from stabbings to vomiting over a bridge and causing a car accident to starting a race riot that had over 500 people. Yeah, it's pretty fascinating. But ASU's party antics have started to catch up with them in recent years. Since 2002, President Michael Crow has been on a war with the party. He's been trying to change the campus reputation. He even turned it into a dry campus, which means no alcohol is allowed on campus anywhere. You can't even have a beer bong. But that doesn't stop the Sun Devils from partying. Because if there's one thing that I know about the party, it's that you say no to authority. They just love the party too much. It's, you can't put rules and laws on the sun devils. They're devils! And due to their massive enrollment and their extremely high acceptance rate of 89%, they're gonna be a party school whether Michael Crow likes it or not. You can't change what you are, ASU. You're the number one party school in the United States. Now for the honorable mentions. Shout outs to a few party schools who didn't make the top 10 but deserve a nod anyhow. West Virginia University, you guys know how to party. I've been to West Virginia before. 
there's really nothing else to do, so I get it, y'all get plastered, good for you. Same goes for Bama, roll tide. You're in Alabama, there's nothing else to do. You gotta party and you party hard, respect. Big shout out to FSU where Burt Kresher, a living legend of the college party scene, went to university. And if you guys like this kind of thing, hit the like button and let me know. Maybe I'll make this a regular segment. Maybe I'll even give it its own day of the week. We'll see. That depends on you people. But if you've made it this far, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. I just made a mess in my room for you, and I will see you next week.